to the squad. This is your commander Theo Coop, and we back with another one. Corey Holcomb and Boyce Watkins, more beef. But check this out. I said this less than a week ago, previously on the Do Better podcast. Watkins, let me give you a piece of advice from someone who's just only has a bachelor's degree, nothing else. So I got more common sense than you. Don't poke comedians, yo. Corey was to sit down and react play by play to an embarrassing ass proposal of yours. Who we'll in that shit, bro? He will make you cry, man. He's gonna cry in the car. If you guys didn't see my video from last week, I'll put it in the description. Let me just get to this. Let me get to. Let me get the soft shit out the way. Dude, can we? Is it too soon for that video? And I apologize for looking at. I'm gonna. I'm gonna list that. Hold on one second before you bring it up. Let me. Let me put people up to speed. A um, couple of weeks ago, I expressed how I have issues with my baby mama. Like, unfortunately, unfortunately, me. Uh, damn. Uh -oh. Unfortunately, my think. young brother, um, DC Young Fly, oh. lost his his yes. kid's mom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when I was you know, sending my blessings out to my brother, I said I wish it was my baby mom. Mm -hmm. And that caused a whole bunch of curse controversy on the internet. And uh, it made this one dude who's supposed to be such a professional, mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, Mr. Mr. Boyce Watkins, who's supposed to be such a professional, he said something on there like, met him, never liked him, mm -hmm. something like that. Wow. Now he's supposed to be a professional. Mm -hmm. So last week I was hitting him back. Then he took a couple of shots at me. Okay, I was unaware that Dr. Watkins responded. Here's a video that I found courtesy of the YouTube channel, The GMS Show. Dr. Boyce Watkins fires back at Corey Holcomb after the comedian went at him for a comment Boyce made saying he didn't like Corey when he first met him. After a week went by, Boyce decided to respond via Instagram by posting this. Pay attention. Comedian Corey Holcomb helps us know the difference between a black man and a so-called real nigga. He also attached this caption to the post saying, Corey Holcomb is an example of the fact that black people have been fooled into thinking that losers are winners. He's a man who said he wishes death on the mother of his child. He is also a comedian, which unfortunately makes him a clown. The world loves to see the black man as a little boy, a little girl, a criminal or a clown. What they do not want to see is the black man as intelligent or loving our women. I share this clip because I'm tired of us seeing ourselves as niggas and it's time for us to start seeing ourselves as men. I am very proud to love a black woman in public because we have too many rascally Negroes who've grown comfortable disrespecting black women as a collective and proudly running into the arms of women who embarrass us, harm us, steal our money and destroy us. Black men over the age of 32 have no excuse. If you always look at yourself as ignorant, backward, lacking, and as a child, you will forever be seen as the beta male to the white man's alpha. It's time to put that silliness to an end. Sincerely, Dr. Boyce Watkins. And lastly, somebody said, Boyce, you better cool out. You don't want those kind of problems. 5150 don't play. To which Boyce replied, neither do I. What do you guys think of Dr. Watkins' response to court? Let me know in the comments right now. But I just want to say, um, Mr. Watkins, you you need to you need to understand the position you in. Hey, do we can we do we really had a video put up? Okay. Show me this video. Y'all see this shit? You ain't even got to say shit first. I, I, I called it. Can the can the people see that? Do you see her hesitation? First of all, this is a lady he known for a long time. I said lady. I do not know this lady. I have nothing against her. I just only understand her hesitation is obvious in the video. <laughs> Look how she looking. Look how she looking. He known this lady 20 plus years and she had a, a child elsewhere before she agreed to marry him because, can y'all stop the video for a second? Just stop it. I just want to, I just want to say something. Something that I, I, I want the, the crew to to, to, to especially Darlene, I want to see what she got to say about this. I want to let all you guys five, eight, and under know this. <laughs> Women prefer to have children with bigger guys. Salute to all my short kings out there. Guys with height. So, Mr. Watkins, I want you to know, she didn't have a baby with you. You got her when her she was finished and when you was finished. But you you a meal ticket for it. That's why I believe that this woman decided to say, fuck it, I'll do it. Because her body language is not that of a happy woman. So I'm just letting you know, Mr. Watkins, you can say whatever you want to say about me, but you look like the ass clown right there. 
That's what you look like in that video. Look at your face, look at her face. That is not the face of a woman who feel like, oh, he finally did it. That's the woman's face that's saying, damn, I ain't got no more options. <laughs> I hate to agree. It's very sad looking, even that quick. And that's just one shot, I don't know, but her body language says a lot. Stephen D. Like Look at her shoulders. She they knows never lie. She knows what's about to happen. Everybody, anybody at that point with him. You ain't even got to show this video no more. Cut the video off after this. That's we so see sad. what's happening. This is a lane. Mr. 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 Watkins, I'm not mad at you. I actually feel sorry for you. You you say you're a professional, but you say on the internet, oh, I met him, I never liked him. But everybody who real know, that's not what you said when you saw me. So then you say, I'm a comedian. Then he tried to bring black women into it. Uh -oh. We are, we are, we're supposed to come together and all like this. Dog, all less predictable. You can't run that on the streets no more. My show is mainly a street show and other people who want to be down can come get involved. Yo shit that you running don't work on the streets. To be fair to boys, that's how boys is always going to be. Boys is always going to say, hey, we should be above this. We shouldn't be beef. But as I stated earlier, if boys wouldn't have made that comment, we wouldn't be here right now. Also, I think Dr. Walker needs to do a better job at knowing his opposition. This is a street show, homie. We, I ain't saying this all villains, as some of you would try and make it seem like if you if you claim the streets, you a villain. No, we the people who out here in the elements making something out of nothing. That's my audience. That's my audience. That's right. Truck drivers, people who really out here making life work without the tools they should be given. So you can try and make it seem like something wrong with me all you want, but I'm here to tell you, you made a fool out of yourself proposing to somebody who didn't really want you. Now, I'm not saying she didn't wind up choosing you. I mean, we later in life. Her choices ain't that much out there. All she can do is fuck with me. I'm gonna take her to the mall and buy a couple of outfits. Um, now that, um... Go back to that. <laughs> What? No, that picture. I'm sorry. I just looked up. Now that true religion ain't that expensive, I can have her out there fly. <laughs> I forgot about true religion. So looking at him like, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. Look at him. Back to the video. See this. Any woman, if you're excited for the one that you love, is hey. finally popping the question, you would be ecstatic I ain't never seen no over woman. the moon. I, She's I like, I didn't see him tell the nigga no and was more excited. She's like, oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 Homie, oh, Lord. this ain't the one you want to go after. You can try to rally the black people against me. That's what they always do. Oh, he doesn't like black women and all this shit. If I said I wish my baby mama was dead, I stand on it and got some evidence that'll make motherfuckers be like, oh, I see why he think like that. The bitch tried to hit me with a car. And what's messed up is what her shirt says. So sound like she wish What did her shirt say? Just keep moving. <laughs> That's God right there. Oh, it ain't no. no coincidence her shirt say just keep moving. <laughs> That let me know you ain't sharp as I thought you was, bro, because you don't see the elements. What? You gonna propose to a woman who got on a shirt to say, just keep moving. Oh, my God. Man, if you don't get man, your garbage ass out of here, oh. quit talking to a motherfucking God like that, man. man you, can't, you can't make me what you want me to be because you say it. You help people with financial situations, but I'm here to tell you something. Who are you really helping? Who are you really helping? I'm, I'm wondering because money ain't finna be shit if you really know what's happening. Yeah. So what are you managing now? Money ain't finna be shit. Cash money, Darlene, uh -uh. The, the great Ice-T said, cash money ain't never gonna play out. He said that in one of his lyrics. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, money finna play out. What you gonna teach now? Tell yeah. people how to manage the digital income that they're allowed to have? <laughs> Get your goof ass out of here, homie. You played out. I ain't gonna never play out. You can't. I'm eternal. You can't brag on a woman that chose you last, my nigga. Damn. That's the most. Why Mark is knocking him upside the head? He oh. don't even know you. He ain't talking crazy to you. He gave you some game. Say it again, Marcus, please. You can't brag on the woman that chose you last, dog. She literally skipped over you and spent the block back. Mm. <laughs> after, after the other niggas was like, nah, we good. Bang! Bang! It's good! I believe she was buried and had three kids with her husband. I don't know. I don't know the details. I think that's I think that was her situation. You guys let me know in the comments. She spent the block back like, alright, fuck it. I, somebody I, say, I, I'll give you a chance. Somebody say Boykin's the cleanup man. 
Uh oh. You get the after they threw with it pussy, homie. <laughs> and I ain't saying that just to be mean. Boys Watkins, I'm not mad at you. I talked to my homie, I talked to my homie about you, and it really put him in a bind, cause my nigga Willie D like Boys Watkins. Yeah. I rock with Boys too, man. Willie D was like, damn, it's fucked up, y'all in this situation. But I wanna say this to everybody who don't acknowledge that that man started this shit with me, then I don't know what to tell you. Mm, the man true. said to me, met him, never liked him. And you didn't Where, even Where's know the that? maturity in that? Yeah, that's true. You could have called me and told me you ain't like me. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? But what was the moment? Well, Marcus said he could have kept it to himself. See, so, yeah, I think he was but trying he needed, to get he, some... He, he was on Willie D page, sure. out there acting like he run with the streets, because Willie D got the streets and the other people. Mm. And he just wanted to put his little chime in, because mm. he probably ain't getting no attention at home, the honeymoon over. Oh, girl got that pussy in that dick that want it. Fuck it, I said it. That's how I talk. I mean, that's some bandwagon shit. Like, there you see, you everybody, you see everybody talking shit about a motherfucker, and then you just, you. I want to roll with oh, the punches. I'm a, yeah, yeah, I want to get I'm some. Jump, I'm going to jump in and talk shit, too. That's what that sounds like. Because I've had an interaction with him, mm -hmm. but I wasn't acting like that during that interaction. That's weak. Mark it. I am so glad you said what you said, because we done with that goof ass nigga. <laughs> I did earlier, and I actually said in the video I did last week about boys and Corey, is that I did rock with boys. I just didn't like his comments that he made about Kevin Samuels once he passed away. I didn't agree with that, but also at the same time, I never went to Dr. Watkins for his stances on relationship. And there's no shots intended whatsoever. If you follow boys, boys himself has said that he wasn't a ladies man. But I think Corey and Marcus said right there at the end the spot on what Corey said, hey, if you didn't like me, you could have just called me. And then Marcus said, you could have just kept it to yourself. And that was exactly what I said earlier in the video. He just didn't have to comment that. If he wasn't clout chasing, what did he think was gonna happen? That he would just post that comment and nobody could see it? Again, the whole thing is pure silliness. And I would advise Dr. Watkins, throw in a towel, bro. <laughs> You don't want to go back and forth with a comedian, man. It's about knowing your competition. I don't think Boyce Watkins really knows who Corey Oakham is or know the level of Corey's petty. But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just a weed head talking on YouTube. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. It's your commander, Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. Do it better. Squad, ball out. Uh, excuse me, bitches?